We are the adversary force for the largest force-on-force -force iteration that the Marine Corps has done in decades, and certainly the best supported one. And we've done some specialized training on what we're calling the Ad4 Academy to give 2nd Marine Division, which is uh, the opposite force, the Op4, uh, the best look and the toughest challenge of their lives. At the era when we focus primarily on extremist threats is over, we need to focus on near peer adversaries, we've returned to an era of great power competition. So to that end, we as 2nd Battalion, 4th Marines have focused on uh, this iteration of ITX as the service level training exercise where we are the adversary force. So this is good not just for the 1st Marine Division, for the 2nd Marine Division, but this is good for the Marine Corps. That get us to start thinking about how we would fight a numerically superior foe with similar capabilities and how we would dominate a battlefield that's significantly more complex than we've been fighting for the past couple decades. We rise to the nation's toughest challenges. We go to the most dangerous and difficult to reach places in the world and we fight the nation's adversaries as we need to. So conducting this ambitious large scale event in 29 Palms helps us get toward the overall strategic objectives of the nation which is deterrence of conflict. Deterrence of conflict by having the most lethal, the most ready, the most effective Marine Corps that's always ready to fight as the nation's expeditionary force and readiness of choice.